I'm at Out in the Garden Nursery and we're talking about fall and winter interest plants for your garden. So if you're ready to be planting, you have to come out here. And Carol, you really have some great ideas for us today. Well, I wanted to start with actually some really fun summer surprises before oh, we totally okay, before get we into fall. fall. Great. So I have a few plants here at the end that we have in the garden that have been amazing through this heat with little to no oh, good water. To know. The biggest, biggest surprise is this fuchsia down here. It's okay. fuchsia regia subspecies regia. It's a species fuchsia. It's got amazing foliage. It's kind of a rambler. It doesn't grab on things, but it will go through trees mm -hmm. and through shrubs. And I have it in a place in the garden with zero water two summers in a row, and it's amazing. Wow, and that's really good to know because, man, this was a drought and hot year, wasn't it? Was. it? And another couple that did really well for me, we put them in the garden last fall, so fall planting too is good for summer next summer. I have a really beautiful molina. It's just a very simple green grass with this beautiful airy foliage or, or flowers that bloom for months. They've been blooming since about June, and they'll hold all through the fall, once we have a heavy frost, that will be the end of them, but they'll go for a long, long time. And then behind this is one of the miscanthus. This is gracilimus. It's another one. It's just looking amazing in the garden, even though it's been so hot and dry. And you know, grasses, you kind of forget about them, mm -hmm. and then they really come to shine. So really, put them in, and they'll, they'll do good work for you all year round. They really will. Another really fun combination that I have in the garden that's done extremely well with very, very little water is Sedum Autumn Joy and Molina Variegata. Um, when I first started growing Molinas, everybody said grow them in moist, they want moist soil. I have them in a very dry spot with little to no water all summer, two summers in a row, and they're absolutely amazing. Another summer surprise. Yes, excellent. it was an excellent summer surprise. Nice. And look at the color of this now. So really a pretty contrast between the gold and then mm -hmm. the pink. There's a lot of sedums on the market, but I still am having a hard time finding anything as good as Autumn Joy. It is. It's an old favorite, but still a great one. It is. And now you have a lot of low, low type of uh, Carexes, so those are great too. They're great for fall. They're good for year round. They're, uh, they're excellent container plants. Um, they're really wonderful for winter. You can move them, especially in a container, you can move them around the garden, fill up bare spots. Um, some of them, like the, the Carex testaceae, the orange sedge, Pretty. will get brighter in the winter, which is really, really nice. And there's, again, just so much nice color and texture and fabulous in containers. And then this one looks like a Carex, but it isn't. It's not. This is a lazula. It's an alpine lazula. It's a great little tiny dwarf grass. Doesn't get much bigger than it is here. And it's just this wonderful little it's like green, a little, tuft. It, little tuft, or the sea urchin of the garden. Ah. And but it's a beautiful evergreen for the front of the shade border. And a lot of the Carexes are great for the garden, but also for containers they're because they stay nice and short. They're fantastic. Plus, they're actually, you can move them around. They, they do best in like partial sun. So the winter, it doesn't matter. But in the summer, they really hate the hot sun. So a container, you can put them in a little shade and they'll do way better. Ah, nice. And look at this flower. Look at the striping on this. It looks like an orchid. It does it does look like an orchid, but it's a Triceris or a toad lily. It's a wonderful fall bloomer. They start about the middle of um, August. Actually, it's the late summer bloomer, mm -hmm. and they'll go through October. And if you can see, they've got a lot of flowers, but they've got more buds, buds than flowers. So they're going to go through. It's another part to full shade plant. So it's nice. Our shade gardens are often kind of tired this time of the year, but that's coming in and looking awesome. Uh, and what about this variegated shrub? Because this looks really unusual, um, unusual variegation here. It's a um, Caryopteris snow fairy. It's Caryopteris are one of my favorite groups of plants. This one doesn't bloom as nice as the other ones. It does have a tiny bloom, but it's pretty insignificant. And with the heat, it just disappeared. And what's amazing about this variegation, it will actually take full sun. Ah, nice. You know, it needs some water in full sun. It's a little more drought tolerant in part shade. The variegation changes in part shade, mm -hmm. uh, but it does well in either one. Yeah, because it's kind of gold and cream at the mm -hmm. bottom, and then it gets whiter and whiter as you get yeah, to so the Yeah, so the top. more sun it gets, the whiter it is. And it's a, it starts out a little gold, but that actually will get more creamy in the shade. And about how tall will that get? It's about a three by three, not quite as wide, um, about two by three. Ah, nice, nice size. And then some more grasses, because I think mm -hmm. that we really can use that motion in the garden, mm -hmm. and then really you can leave these up until January, February oh, absolutely. before cutting them down. This one here is another Miscanthus. This is Miscanthus purpureans, which is a, it's the flame grass. Pretty. And it has this beautiful fall color. It's kind of a plain Jane plant all the rest of the year, but then we get into fall and it does this. Ah. And it's that's just amazing. And the the Miscanthus sometimes, well, it depends what our fall and winter mm -hmm. does on how well they hold. The foliage sometimes doesn't hold, but the flowers actually will hold a long time through the winter. And that's about three feet? That one's three to four feet. Mm -hmm. All right, and then one more. I love this gold, and you have a whole hedge of this I one. have it's a whole beautiful. bunch of it. This is um, one of the Calamagrosses. I actually carry four different kinds, different variegation in green. 
They are actually one of my favorite grasses. It's probably one of the best on the market just because they're deciduous grass. They're a cool season grass, so they come up early in the spring, bloom about um, May to June, but then persist. So these are June flowers. Yes, they're brown, but they're still holding beautifully. And as it, we get into fall and get cold, the whole plant will turn brown but it holds its shape amazing through the winter. It doesn't fall apart in the ice storms or the winds as much as other things. At some point you do need to cut it down. On my hedge, I miss it when I cut it down. It feels <laughs> like my garden's naked without it. Uh, well, you have to come out to see out in the garden or and to come to see that hedge. The season will be ending at the end of October. So go to the website for all the hours and the dates. Carol, thanks so much. It's You're always welcome. really nice to come out. Thanks, Judy.